to it. Equipment is going to be a credit for how much we bought it for, which was 51000 So that's going off the books. We're now selling it. And then we have to get rid of the accumulated depreciation related to the equipment. So remember, the equipment was on there at cost at 51 And then we had depreciated it over time. So that's how much it went down over time. That related depreciation, which is a contra asset account, has a credit balance. We need to make it go down. So we're going to debit accumulated depreciation. And again, in real life, we would see this journal entry because it would be in our records and it would be 22,850. And then we're going to have a difference. In this case, the debits are now adding up to the uh, 489 and the credits are winning. Therefore, we're going to need another debit. What will that debit be? If we highlight all of these, it's going to be the 2001. I'm going to use our plug formula to do that. The plug formula being negative SUM of these cells and that will be the 2 1 so now if i highlight the debits add up to 51 the credit 51 add up all of them adds up to zero debits equal the credits what will that be well it's a loss because we sold it for 26 it had a book value of 28 we lost 2001 on the sale so it's going to be a loss on sale so that's our journal entry. Now we're going to think about, well, how can that journal entry help us for our cash flow statement over here? I mean, what are we going to, what are we going to do with that? We know that one, uh, we know that the depreciation has to change. So we know that we're going to affect depreciation and what's going to happen to depreciation. Uh, well, that's going to have to be this, uh, affected by this 22, eight. So we're going to say that this is going to be equal at 22, eight. Depreciation has to go up by that. We already know that because that's the amount that's on the income statement. So I know that depreciation needs to go up by the 22.8. That's what started this whole thing. And so that brings it up to 38.6. Does that tie out to the income statement? That ties out to the income statement. But of course it throws off our all the rest of our numbers here. So now we're out of balance. So now we're gonna have to figure out well, what else is gonna be affected on this uh, in order to allow us to basically adjust depreciation to what it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these as we go. We found a home for this piece of the journal entry and let's see if we could find a home for the rest of the piece of the journal entry. We have it. We have cash affected over here. We received cash and we're going to ask ourselves, well, is that going to be, uh, what type of activity is that going to be? And the answer to that is we received cash for the sale of the uh, equipment. And we know that the equipment, just like when we paid for the equipment, is going to be conveniently in this blue spot that we left for the cash flows from